All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are looking at the NBA Price Picks plays for Friday, December the 30th. Stayed hot last night, went 5 of 6 on the props. Sengun in foul trouble, 5,017 minutes, kept us away from possibly getting, having back-to-back -back 25Xs. Uh, he was playing, yeah, like 7 seven rebounds, 11 points, I believe, in those 17 minutes. So it was on track to hit. But it happens. We still made 2X if you played the 6 picks. Hit the over. One and a half touchdowns on Dak Prescott over receiving yards easily on the Lamb. Yet another 100 yard receiving day. Hit the over PRA on Jalen Green. Hit the over PRA on Jalen Williams. And hit the over PRA on Zubats as well with the double double. So let's keep it going today. As always, if you guys enjoy the videos, appreciate it for the like button, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. You guys have really been blowing up these videos. It means a lot. Got six more props I want to share with you all. And let's get right into it. So. The first prop that we're looking at is, first, uh, Milwaukee's going to be shorthanded again today. Drew Holiday is doubtful, and Middleton's already been ruled out. So you're going to get, uh, you got a little bit of a bump on Brooke Lopez from last game. He's at 14.5 instead of 13.5, and, and that point did make a lot of difference as he only had 14, and that came in overtime with the basket. So you might be a little hesitant on taking Brooke Lopez's props today. Personally, I still like him a lot at the points just with the way that he's been scoring he playing 30 minutes regularly now, and the matchup here is a good one. Being able to stretch Gobert out um, to the three-point line, he should get some open threes. So for that reason, sticking with Brook Lopez, he hasn't done me wrong yet. And just not having Holiday there, not having Middleton. Um, not having Holiday's bigger. Middleton's been missing a lot of these games anyway. I feel like Brook Lopez will possibly have another 20-point game in him today. So he's the first prop I wanted to share and against uh, the Timberwolves, he missed it in his points last game he played them, but the previous three games, he had over 15 points. So I feel like just with them being shorthanded today, it's a decent prop to look at. The second over, proper, over points we're looking at is going to Golden State, and we're taking Dante DiVincenzo over 11.5 points. I don't know when they're going to start to bump it up a little bit. I know he had zero against Charlotte, uh, but he might have been dealing with a knee injury there. He was... Popped up on the injury report against Utah with knee soreness. It was questionable for that game, and now he's probable for this one. So expect him to be a full go. He's playing starter level minutes just with them missing. You know, a lot of their key players, Steph Curry's out, um, and then Wiggins continues to miss games. So he played 38 minutes against Utah. He's a good three point shooter. The matchup here is at home, so that's favorable against Portland. Against Charlotte, even though he had zero points, he still got 29 minutes. He's routinely going to play over 30 minutes. He's going to get a lot of shots off, you know, next to Poole, next to Klay Thompson to be the third guy to shoot. You know, Draymond doesn't like to shoot a lot, and Looney doesn't like to shoot a lot. So those three should combine for most of the shots on the team. And he's just been a pretty good stretch right now in the games that he has scored over you know, 10 points. He's shooting really well. Kaysen will struggle if he's not hitting his three ball, but like I mentioned, he might have been dealing with a little bit of a knee issue in that game, which... Seems to have gone as he's now probable instead of questionable. So those are the couple of points props I'm looking at. Definitely have some other ones to consider. Like looking at Harrison Barnes' as under points, I think, looks pretty good. You know, Sabonis has been killing it. Uh, Fox has been killing it. They have Monk and Herder off the bench that can get hot. Just not really been there for Harrison Barnes as of late and pretty much the whole year. So that's one under prop, I think. You know, this... Originally, they didn't have the Sacramento props when I made had the six guys plugged in, so I did not have anything with Harrison Barnes in there, but I think if you wanted to add another prop, if you make a lot of other entries, I like the under for sure on him. I like the over on Fox's points, like the over on Clarkson's points, just for some more entries if you're looking at them. Trey Murphy's been killing it. If you want to take his over points, definitely don't blame you. He's getting opportunities without Brandon Ingram, and he's making the most of it. Even with Zion going for 40-plus last game, he's still put in north of 20. So even outscored McCollum in that one. Uh, but now we're going to jump over to the projected assist prop, and we're taking an under prop here. We're taking the under 6.5 assists on Draymond Green. Uh, reason for this is he's not been hitting his assist. He's kind of been struggling in general. He's probable for this game, I believe, so expecting a play, even though he might not play well like he's been. Uh, occasionally we'll have some good games flirt with triple doubles but most of the time he's just been kind of struggling ever since uh Steph Curry's been out 
He hasn't been able to hit his assist. He's only hit it one time, and that was against Memphis, where he put up 13 assists and 13 rebounds, and he played 35 minutes. But in the seven games since Steph Curry's been out, he's gone under, he's gotten six or less assists in six of the seven games, and a lot of those games he's gotten five assists. Uh, so I like the under here. Portland, even though they're at, uh, Golden State's at home, Portland's not the worst uh, defensive team, and Nurkic is definitely not going to. Nurkic and Grant's a good defender, so I feel like unless Poole continues to unless Poole just catches fire from three and Draymond's dishing it out, he was getting a lot of assists just by hitting Steph Curry wide open. And you know Curry's gonna knock down most of his open looks. Hasn't really been the case for Poole or these other guys. So I feel good about the under on Draymond Green's assists. Now we're going over to the PRA prop board, and there's a couple here that I'm looking at. First one we're going back to is taking the under on Rudy Gobert. Last game we took his under on points. Now his points are, I believe, 12 and, or 13 and a half maybe on price picks. Take a look here. Um, yeah, thir- They took off his points. Okay, I guess people are hammering the under again. Uh, but I'm looking at his under. I was going to take his under PRA, but now we're looking at under points. And re- rebounds here at 24 and a half. Uh, going up against Milwaukee. It's definitely not the easiest matchup for a big like Gobert. They have Brooke Lopez who likes to stretch the floor and shoot a lot of threes. Uh, Bobby Portis will come in and shoot a lot of threes as well. Unless they put him on Giannis, which would lead to some foul trouble most likely for Gobert. Uh, he, he has only played Milwaukee one time um, this year as a member of the Timberwolves. In that game, he struggled from the floor, wasn't able to hit his uh, points. And recently, even his rebounding has been down at times. You know, it's back-to-back games with just eight rebounds, something you don't really see out of him. But expect the scoring to not be there once again against a team that will like to stretch him out and move him away from the basket. So could even see the rebounds be a little bit less for Rudy Gobert today, which will definitely help with the under here. So those are five props already. And then the final, or those are four props. Uh, For another points, rebounds, and assists prop that we're looking at is... Actually, we're going over to points and rebounds. And we're taking Giannis's over 47 and a half. Reason for this is they're missing their top two scorers. Giannis is going to do whatever he wants. Last game, he put in 22 rebounds, 40 plus, 5 plus points. He could even hit this just with the points alone if he has a monster shooting game or scoring game. But against the uh, Timberwolves earlier this year, he had a triple-double against them. The matchup is at home. Should be a closer game, just not having... Uh, those two guys there, Middleton and Holiday. So I'm not expecting a blowout or anything like that. I think you can also look at Edwards' points and rebounds at 30 and a half. I like that one as well. But Giannis has just been an uh, opportunity to just put up a huge, maybe a 50-point game or something like that today. He's dropped over 42 points in three out of his last five games. The rebounds are there basically every single night. And should be no different tonight against... He's a guy that could defend Gobert easily and get a lot of his rebounds and then turn it into a lot of points on the other end. So Giannis, favorite DFS play tonight. Going to be my on the board on the price picks to take at least one of his props. Uh, So those are the five props. And then the final prop is we're taking another under prop, and we're going to Portland here, sticking with this game, with the Golden State game, and we're taking the under on Simons' points. It's been a bit of a struggle for Simons. He shoots a lot. He hits some threes. But t- hitting over 23 points has been a struggle for him in the games that Damian Lillard has played. This is under his average for the year. He's right about that, but you got to keep in mind that a lot of that has been boosted with a lot of those 30-point games that he put up with Lillard out of the lineup for a few weeks. And with Grant back, Lillard back, Hart is back and playing good minutes. He's healthy. There's just not a ton of points to go around for everybody. Somebody's going to have to take a back seat, and it has been Simons as of late. So... He's missed this in four of his last five games. He hasn't even dropped over 20. A couple of those have been sweat-free um, going up against uh, the Nuggets and the Timberwolves there. And then he did have a 30-point game. That was with Lillard in the lineup. But bring up his stats here. Uh, if we look back even before that game against Houston, he just had seven points against Dallas. He did hit it against the Spurs. Then he had 12 31, 6, 22. He's been up and down a bit. Then he had the stretch where Lillard missed games and he had a 45-point game in there, 37-point game in there, 38-point game in there, and was just playing monster minutes. He still plays good minutes um, in general, 
but I think you can take his under 23 points or under 22 and a half points. Hope that, you know, he maybe has 15 to 20 instead. So that's what I got tonight. See if we can keep this 11 and 1 streak going. Over 14 and a half points on Brook Lopez. Over 11 and a half points. Dante DiVincenzo over 6 and a half assists. Draymond Green under, or sorry, less than 6 and a half assists for Draymond Green. Less than 24 and a half points rebounds for Gobert and more. 47 and a half points and rebounds for Giannis and under 22 and a half points for Simons. That's what I got. Best of luck. Thank you for all the love. Catch you all next time.